just say this character doesn't have the merits for me to continue playing with it as a main and he's just gonna go with the Joker instead. Chag is gonna go with the Inkling. So this is a character that can be evasive and if Nitro wants to get a few throw combos and juggles started, that might make him a bit more difficult to hit in the first place. Although good grappling hook is able to get him a second up air and another one through the platform will pull, just pull Chag towards him. Back air and gets the grab immediately after. Shields out the down guns, gets an accidental footstool, but I'm sure Nitro will say that's all on purpose. That Rebellion Gauge is going to be filled up by the Rapid Jab, so Arsene will be coming out. Landing back up this time. Splat Bomb covered. Just a quick get up, but Lashes out of the, out of the pummels. Egeon not meeting its mark either. This is winner's quarter, so a trip into winner's side top eight is on the line here. Is he gonna get the Booyah? He is! Nitro out of that first stock. Very early, Chog able to find the percent window and playing to the character's strength. Very hard to find a kill confirm at that percent besides the Booyah, but nevertheless able to meet its mark. You do have to read the DI as well for it to convert, so. Nitro going to want to vary it the second time, or not. Perhaps just to mix him up some other way. Inkling's down tilt, by the way, an excellent tool for two framing. It lasts fairly long, and Joker is able to vary some of his recovery timings, but he does not have invincibility when Arsene is out. And Speaking of which, Arsene not going to be out any longer. Chag has already depleted the meter. Chasing down with the roller. That's the other primary way that Inklings like to find their kills. The 4% takes too high of a toll into the mid-100s. Gets the roll, though. And a back air from Nitro will probably do it in all likelihood. Just has to do it at the right part of the stage. Just barely. The DI from Chog, not quite enough. He's going to be out of that first stock, but Nitro still upwards of 104%. Joker not anywhere close to being reunited with Arsene. Is he going to get another Booyah? He is, but Nitro just going to DI. Is living. Throw out a taunt there. I'm not quite sure what that was. Aha will pile on a bit more damage. And now... I think with this rage, he is out of the... Probably is out of the Booyah range, but... Does have a bit of rage to play with, too. And now the back throw... Not quite going to do it either. Arsen will be coming out, so... Did live long enough for this to happen. Sent forward with the F throw. Inkling doesn't really have a kill throw besides the back throw, so if he's just going to catch him on that right part of the stage facing forward, not quite much he can do with a throw except tack on a bit more chip. Lands with the back air though and has that opportunity to refill his ink tank. Another up throw to up air this time, not going to come near the kill, but any damage is good damage. Already that Rebel's guard. That Rebellion Gauge is almost going to be filled up once again. And as a sign of how much damage has been piled on him, Arsene coming to his aid. Up air, yes, that will do it. Chog, quite the DI to live there. And Nitro has the opportunity to live now. He can make this back. I've seen him come back from higher deficits, so... Might be a bit difficult though when he's just going to be buried and that up smash is going to send Nitro off the talk. That's a JV2 from Chag. And a very dominant game one. Just controlled it from start to finish. And Nitro mulling over the character here. I 
know that Chag does prefer to go Palutena in the Belmont matchup, so he will be first to choose first, forced to choose first. Nitro won't make the character switch, just going to stick it out with the Joker. I think that's just going to be his main at this point. Moving forward onto Momentos, the Omega version. I like this music choice as well, intentional or not. This is very classy, especially with the blue background. And that's going to be the first dock gone for Nitro. Just drifted way too far out. Not quite sure what that lapse in judgment was, but any stock taken is a good stock. And now Chag already a stock up and fully in the driver's seat at this point. Back air will put Nitro up to 61% on that second stock. McCarcarns away the splat bomb. Very clever, but going to be two frames twice in a row. Almost three times in a row with the down tilt, but is able to make it back safely. Uses that second jump to just get away. Avoid that check chase entirely from Chag, who is still only at 54%. The wall jump to make it back, but the F tilt from Nitro will put him back off stage. The downward guns. Covering himself, they are perhaps one of the best options to hit a low profiling inkling from above. Rolls back, gets the back door as well. Nitro perfectly positioned to be caught by that roll and misses the tech. Nitro out of that second stock almost as soon as he was out of the first. Chag is absolutely steamrolling through Nitro at the moment. Is going to use that Rebel's Guard to get a few more few more percent added onto the meter. And look at Chak, he's just waiting the meter to expire on top of the Angel platform. The Rapid Jab not only catches him for a while, he not only times it out, repeated multi-hits are perhaps the best moves in the entire game for draining the meter. And this is looking pretty grim for Nitro. Up throw. Is he going to get the up air to finish it off? He is the Booyah for the third time this match. And Chag with a two stock is going to fly through. Punches ticket into winner's semis. This wasn't even close.